These are cheap, undervalued items that can sell for some big money right now. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about a cheap, really undervalued item when you're going out there sourcing. It's something that I can run into quite often that can get me thousands of dollars if I find the right one. Today we're talking about ribbons. Now I'm going to show you some close-ups and we're also going to show you the main five types to look for that are going to get you the most money. There's hundreds of different types of ribbons out there right now. If you know these five, you are going to do far better than everyone else out there. Now here's just a small assortment from a large purchase I made. I bought almost 150 of these. We have less than $2 into each one of these ribbons. These are all either political or veteran tied ribbons here. And these are typically of what I run into. Most of the time these are priced super cheap because most people don't know what the ribbon's for. They don't realize, like looking at this one, that this one is political. It's tied to Illinois. It's tied to a specific person. Far too many people don't realize those aspects of it and miss the value on them because of that. Most all of these I'll price at at least 100 bucks across the board, even ones with the damage you see here. This is the Hamilton Club of Chicago. It's a Republican organization back in the 19th century. Now, one thing most people may not be aware of is what would have been considered the Republican Party back then would actually follow along the lines of what are Democrats these days. So the party lines changed in the last century, but in this time frame era, the whole stance of the party itself was completely opposite of what we think of today. Another one of those historical facts you should know about when you're selling items. Yates, Illinois Republican Club. Again, a nice, interesting one. Minor damage, still worth well worth the price I'm stating for listing on these. Here on for capital. Again, you're going to need to research these, but these are all known campaign slogans and statements that you should be able to find on a Chrome search pretty much any day of the week. Don't mind buying multiples of them because if I had 10 of the same one, chances are if it's a good one, it will still sell all one at a time, just like I always do with multiple purchases. Republican Watcher, Stewart City Republican Club, nice one. Even with the condition you see, it's still a nice condition for this type of material. These are silk, most of these, and silk lasts fairly long. These were well taken care of, even with the minor damage you see on them. Fabric like this doesn't last very much. That's, again, why I usually can get them pretty cheap, because when there's issues and damage like that, people will let them go dirt cheap, thinking there is, you know, not worth money because of the condition of it. This is one of those cases where a little less condition is acceptable because of the scarcity of some of these showing up. Many people miss that factor there. Oh, and on this one here, too, metallic threads on them usually add to the value. They're much nicer when they have metallic threads. Sometimes it's bordered on metallic threads. Sometimes the actual lettering will be done in metallic threads, and there'll be big metallic threads on the top. Sometimes there'll be a metal at the top, a pin, a button, or something else also. The Marquette Club Vice President, a specific Republican club. Minneapolis, formerly Illinois. Again, look up some of these statements and you'll realize what's going on with them. Delegate to the 13th Ward Republican Convention, 1897. Regular Republican ticket. Interesting one here. Again, both sides, both both parties at the time would have had these. There was actually other parties at back in those days too. So you'll find them for many different parties. So Chicago Union Veterans Club. This is a rather unique one. It actually shows another actual ribbon with a medal. And that's typical of what you'll find on military veterans medals. The eagle at the top there. Very nice one indeed. Election commissioners here, April 1897. Election commissioners here, again, basically like poll watchers and things like that you'd see back then, 1896. And then a very nice one here with metallic threads, some minor damage down at the bottom, but it also has a ribbon. Still in excellent condition. You can see the fabric fairly well in these. Nice shiny silk. Still not in bad condition. Nice gilt. Usually the gilt's worn off in these if they've been sitting around and not taken care of. These are good items to sell. Some of these will go into that 100 plus range off the bat. I'll probably be able to pay for all of these with the sale of one or two ribbons. That's how high some of the value is on things like this. They always sell for us or for some incredibly good money across the board. I'll give a challenge to everybody out there. If you respond in the description box below this video and name the two that I think will sell for the most money out of this lot, 
I will send the winner, the first person who actually names those two, something in the mail, something nice, something free, sent free, shipped as well. So that's the call out to you. If you can name the two that I think will sell for the most out of here, I'll give you a surprise, a special gift coming straight from me. So let's have a quick look here at Terapeak and just show you the top five that I look for, the top five types of ribbons that will get you the most money. Now, I don't have these in a specific order, but this first one is usually the one that makes us the most money. Campaign ribbons. Election political ribbons go for the most overall for us. Now, it's not always that case, but usually we make more in the campaigns. We'll show you the other ones, and you'll see that some of those can go in these same price ranges as well. Now, I'm just looking just to give you a quick idea here. Now, many of these can sell for thousands. Abraham Lincoln, 1964 presidential campaign silk. He has no beard in this one. Almost $3,000. You can dig through here. You can see for yourself. All of these sorts of things are still out there. Most of them are silk. Some survived in great condition, while others, even in bad condition, can still sell for hundreds, if not thousands of dollars if you find the right one. You can see the price as we go down through here. There are a ton of them that sold for a lot of money. You can see some of these have quite a few bids on them. So they're not just bins, multiple bids, 37, 22, 13, 27, 22. So as you go, you're going to see a ton of these selling for some incredible amounts of money. Doesn't even have to be super old. Ones from, say, the turn of the 19th century. Even up in the modern day time, some like the very top one on here for Huey Long, some of these can go for thousands. So you just got to be aware of this specific category, campaign ribbons. Next one, war ribbons. Civil War, uh, Spanish-American War, War of 1812. These are all ones that will garner you some more money. Indian Wars Medal, United States, red and black ribbon, 29 bids, almost $3,000. Another Civil War. This one's from veterans from West Virginia, $1,680. So as you look through here, you're going to see a ton selling for some incredible amounts of money. This one's a replica. There's even replicas selling for some phenomenal money because they're based and actually stamped out of the original molds from when these are made. Civil War ones do incredibly well. Most anyone can go for some decent money. So, so you just have to be aware. This is another area of ribbons that will make you some phenomenal money. Veterans ribbons. Again, tied to war ribbons as well, but veterans in general can sell for some decent money. Even ones going up to the Vietnam War, depending on what the ribbon is, can sell for in the $100 range, couple hundred dollar range. This is just something that I always look for. As you see, the prices aren't as high as, say, campaign, and not even as high as ones tied to a specific war. But again, the value is there in these also. Now, sports-related ones can also go for some decent money. A baseball ribbon in general will go for some phenomenal money. You see some selling all the way up to $3,000 here. These are known medals. There's books on these and the whole works. Most all of them have ribbons. This is Jackie Robinson, Brooklyn Dodgers. It's a 1950 stadium purchase or stadium giveaway button with a ribbon. A lot of these will have buttons or medals hanging from them as well. Now, many times you'll just find the ribbon. Many times they weren't issued with a button or a medal like many of the ones that I showed you. And lastly, World Series ribbons can also go for some decent money. Now, there are ones from most other sports. Hockey has some that can go for some decent money, early hockey ones as well. There's some polo association also. But the ones I run into, the ones I find the most that sell into the hundreds of dollars every time I run into them are these five areas and ribbons I just showed you. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Introducing the Kodak Instant Camera with a twist. Meet the Crank. Can you feel a brand new day? Imagine instant pictures with color. Color. Color by Kodak.
Just crank, 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 and in minutes you get bright, colorful, instant pictures with a textured satin lux finish. See your photo dealer and shake hands with the crank, the Kodak instant camera with a twist.